Each year, the average UK household weighs £700 worth of food, which is equivalent to eight meals a week. So the batch lady, Suzanne Mulholland, is here to help you make the most of your food shop by re revealing the surprising foods that you can freeze. I mean, this is always a revelation when you're here because there's things that you can freeze that we had absolutely no idea about. Yeah, and actually you can freeze nearly everything. There's very few things that you can't freeze and it's mainly about how you go about freezing them. Mm -hmm. But the reason that we really are talking about freezing food as well is because of the price of food mm -hmm. and it's when you buy it you're looking to reduce your costs and what you're actually buying but actually if you can double the amount of time that the food lasts then you're going to save even yeah. more money What's as you go along. What's the safest amount of time to have food in the freezer? I mean I've got stuff down the bottom <laughs> that is unlabeled, I don't know what it is, I've yeah. never poisoned myself yet. No and you won't ever, I mean um, as long as the the whole thing is that you defrost it properly um, but the main thing is is that um, sort of fresh stuff like we're going to come on and talk about fruit that's about a month, bread products are a month, Meals that you've already made in advance are three months for cooked products and then six months for meat. So you've actually got quite a good time of to use it. But as we all, as we were discussing I've before, got stuff in there than all of that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, exactly. As we were discussing before, one and going through and chatting about this, it's a good time to think: what's in my freezer? Should I have a clear out? Definitely. Should I empty it and defrost it? Because your freezer costs the most amount of money to run in your home in terms of a fridge freezer in your kitchen and if it's all frosted up it's going to cost you even, even more, more money so defrost it start using it get it murking efficiently get it start going. with fruit yeah. so yeah, so fruit, you can freeze any fruit and it's great for smoothies. You can put, um, if you've got extra lemon and limes, you can put them in gin and I tonics. I peel bananas and freeze a peeled banana. Yeah, perfect for smoothies. Anything that you think that you've got that is going to go off before it gets to that deterioration stage. So you'd, start cut, you'd freeze it in, it in a cut state like that? Oh, yeah, you can freeze that and then you could mm. just um, stick it in. I, I usually do it for gin and tonics. Brilliant it works really idea. well and stuff like yeah. that. So, yeah, um, and frozen grapes are really nice. If you buy things that you think might go off quickly, grapes are amazing frozen. Yeah, what's your, really what's nice. your trick? Because you said uh, a good trick in the break you were yes, telling us. that's my secret. You um, steep them in Prosecco and then you freeze them. Delicious. That little little ice <laughs> For pop. your 10 o'clock in the morning There's snack. an avocado <laughs> there. That might take a lot of people by surprise. Yes, you can freeze avocados as well. And the majority of avocados that we all probably buy end up in the bin because they're not ripe. We wait for them to go ripe and, and then... you've missed it, haven't you? So what so stage would you freeze it? You can freeze it at any point. So you could cut it up. You can. Um, we're going to go on and discuss guacamole. You can make things like that. Or you can just freeze it like that oh. and then let it defrost and you're good and to away go. You go. Dairy? Yes. So you can freeze milk, obviously. So anybody, if it gets into winter, months it's good to keep an extra pint as a sort of emergency cheese and butter freeze really well now butter is really expensive at the moment as we discussed mm. the last time and the same with cheese so but buying them on special offer or on bulk is going to save you money and then you can freeze them just like this for butter in the packet just freeze it in the packet defrost really easily so if you can get a special offer great and in terms of cheese it's best to actually sort of grate it into bags so that you've got it there for sort of um pack lunches and sandwiches mm -hmm. so you've got it in pasta sauces um, and then you can use whatever the rest of the block you've got for the week ahead and, and you're just eking out your food. You so yeah, you're putting them in freezer bags like this. So there's plastic ones, these can be rewashed again. So or you can use sort of like a bit more durable. Can I durable slice durable the ones. cheese rather than grate it? You can slice it, you can grate it, you can do whatever you want. And in fact, my top tip is for anybody to buy a cheese slice. It's only about three pounds and it slices cheese thinly and you get more cheese for your money out of your block. So well worth doing. Sandwiches? Sandwiches, freeze great. So um, if you are a busy working parent and you've got to get out the door quick in the morning, you've got three children, you can make up your sandwiches and freeze them. And they work brilliantly if you're on a budget and you're looking to get your bread and your bagels to last throughout the whole week. Um, you can just make some up, freeze them. You take all the air out of them in these airtight bags. The, so it's air that causes things to go hard in the freezer and soggy when you take them out. If you take all the air out of something, so you it would will literally, not... you would, you, you'd like make a little hole and then you'd literally squat, That's it. squeeze you it do. all around. Exactly, and you go about three quarters along of the bag, yeah. sealing it, and then just get, get that the last, last bit, bit out. of air out. Okay. And as soon as it's airtight, that You're will away freeze perfect. These ones. Okay. Good. Yeah. So. Um, uh, lots of people don't know about freezing pancakes and um, French toast or eggy bread. This is cheap. It's really good to do. It's filling. It's healthy. And then you just put them in these... Um, the Grease proof? 
greaseproof paper. Thank mm -hmm. you. Um, in between, and then you can grab them out. The kids can stick them in the toaster, heat them up. They've got a really hot breakfast on a winter's morning. Works great. Um, make banana ones to be healthy. We've also got pasta sauces. Pasta sauces are really good making in bulk. Freeze them flat in these bags. These are reusable bags like this. Um, freeze them good. flat. They take up no room at all. Mm. When you get home at night, you're just boiling some pasta. You're pouring over the sauce. You've got an instant dinner. Mm -hmm. You can do a cheese sauce, macaroni cheese. You label works them. great. Always labeling them. So it's hard to see on camera, but these are written with a um, chalk marker. So if you use a chalk marker, it labels everything. But when you wash the bag in hot water, it comes it off. Comes off. My mum was the queen of and that. She'd say, oh, I've got a lovely apple crumble out of the freezer and then she'd cook it and it'd be a shepherd's yeah. pie. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thanks, we call it a UFO one, unidentified frozen oh, yeah. object. Many you never know what you're going to get. Now, when you think about freezing pies, if you wanted to have a pie midweek, it seems quite luxurious. You don't need to spend a lot of room sort of putting it in the freezer like this. Freeze them, deconstructed. So this is some chicken pie filling. Mm -hmm. You've do, I've just, again, put it in the bag, as we said, with no air in it. I've just bought pastry like that. It can go in the freezer in its original packet. Defrost it when you're at work. Um, put Come it in your, there. Is put it, it over the top. The, is it worth freezing it in rolls that fit your dish so that you've got lots of rolls rather than the one yeah. big long one? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that really fits one dish. So right. it's made for a family right. of four. Okay. And fakeaways. So this is a calzone that's not cooked, obviously, but that cost about £1.50 to make. It's got pepperoni and everything inside. It's gorgeous. That would be about £10 to get it delivered on an app. It costs £1.40 to make it. It's definitely worth it. If you've got a family it? of four or five, they don't take up yeah. much room. You can make them deconstructed and keep the filling like that and have the kids make them themselves. And then this is one of my favourite things, is that you don't need to cook food to put it in your freezer. So these take about three minutes each to make. So this is a Thai salmon wrap and it's got peppers and broccoli and a uh, Hasselback chicken. Um, you just stand, you make them up, you put them in the little parcels and put them in bags. You just pull them out. These ones, these fish ones can that. be cooked from frozen. They're sort of called dump bags and they, because you just dump everything they need to in. work on that. And you go, <laughs> you do. I know. Well, we Yummy like to call, <laughs> on the Batch Lady, we like to call them grab and cook bags. That's better. We think that's, that's better. better. And then finally, you can freeze breadcrumbs, which are great if you're doing macaroni cheese you want to take a handful out they freeze and stay sort of little so they're easy to grab you can make guacamole um hummus as well mm. so if you buy a pot of this hummus it's now about two pounds you can just scoop it out onto a freezer tray freeze it and then um just take, take a little, a little bit out as it. you need it and you're going to spend well, so much money rather it's than very throwing clever. it in the bin it's so good thank, thank you. you very much Brilliant. thank you for having Lovely. me see you again thanks very much uh,